going on? This is Drew Porton Photography here in Kittery Point, Maine, looking to test my newest drone, the DJI Mini 2 SE, with my favorite, most impressive drone, the DJI Mavic 3. So I'm going to be heading to that lighthouse right behind me there, uh, doing the same flight for both drones, and gonna see how they both compare. Obviously this will win, but let's see what this thing can do. For 300 bucks, I'm excited to see. All right, so before we get flying with the Mini 2 SE, let's go over its spec list really quick. So I decided to film on site and record audio. Afterwards, it was really windy and, um, well, not that windy, but it was 18 miles an hour at the windiest, so uh, I didn't want the audio to get interrupted by the wind. Um, so here we go, I'm taking off with the Mini 2 SE. Um, so far, no interruptions, it's pretty, pretty clear. Uh, I believe the International uh, Mini 2 SE that was released before the US version had Wi-Fi remote, and I think you can still buy that. That's the one that's for 300. This is the one for 339 that has the O2 Wi-Fi remote control. So um, I wonder if that's something that helps to keep this really smooth. I'm, I'm pretty impressed. You'll see the color gradient goes a little bit green back to magenta here, and I'm not sure why. I'm not sure if it's the sun peeking through the clouds. It's kind of like a, a filtered day here, but um, still a great day to compare both drones. Um, this is where I kind of pull up and stop to uh, grab a couple photos. This is Wood Island Lighthouse Saving Station in Kittery Point, Maine, by the way. And here we go. Here's the shot for the Mini 2 SE, um, which is which is pretty good, actually. I was I was really impressed. 12 megapixels. Reminds me kind of of my Phantom 4 that I started flying um, seven years ago now, which is pretty crazy. Got my drone license commercially back in the end, uh, the very beginning of 2017. And here we are heading to the other lighthouse that's out this way and testing out. There is a two times and four times zoom, um, which I actually didn't know um, was on this drone until I bought it. Uh, but this is actually a pretty clear shot. When you see, when you go in the four times though, it does lose a little bit of uh, resolution. Uh, but still, I, I would use those. That's uh, really helpful for performing and creating different compositions. Um, so here I'm getting closer. As you can see, this is a much wider shot. This is um, kind of standard shot. I do like that zoom feature here on the coast because a lot of times, especially in the spring here, as the sun will get warmer um, and the days will get a little longer, you'll find seals out on these little islands. And, and those are really fun subjects to capture. So, um. Still really smooth, clear reception. I don't remember any, um, obviously I'm not recording my screen, so this is, you know, there won't be any uh, interruptions on this side of things, but I, I vaguely remember um, a little bit of, of wind interrupting the actual camera. Um, and here I go grabbing another quick photo, but I don't remember the um, the video being interrupted. And this isn't very close too. This is still you know, a good ways out, not terribly far, but the drone is small enough though for the wind to have affected the, the gimbal. So that I did remember on occasion that, and you'll see it on my flight home back to my home point. You'll see the, the gimbal getting kind of pushed around a little bit by the wind in one spot. Is actually one of my favorite shots I grabbed with um, the Mini 2 SE for its flight right here and I didn't even know this lobster boat was kind of coming around but that sequence there is a great capture um, I'll definitely be using that for sure in a, in a reel or just a highlight of, of the coast here here I am going in on the two times um, so that's always going to be the sequence 
another great composition. It kind of really brings in some more detail, sucks in the subject, which is in this case two lighthouses at once, um, and gives you a perspective that they're a lot closer because um, in reality they're, they're really not as close as they seem, in this, especially in this shot. And you'll see as I widen out. Um, but I believe I chase after this boat here. There it is. So I grabbed a shot. I thought this was kind of a cool um, moody photo. But this is especially where I thought the zoom feature was handy. This shot here actually I thought stayed really crisp and sharp. I was really happy with the composition and uh, the waves here coming across the screen. Really sharp. I didn't see any uh, really degrading in quality. Here's the wide shot. So much different. I mean, that's not as impactful of a shot in my opinion. I'll definitely be using the two times. The four times I won't be using as much. Um, kind of reminds me of the, the seven times zoom on the Mavic. It's just almost, a, it's just a little too much. I do still use the Mavic seven times here and there, but it's got to be the right, um, the right lighting. And today on this day in particular, it was a little overcast. So I was impressed with how the Mini 2 SE, how it's two times zoom was able to handle, handle this somewhat low light. Um, and, and this comparison wasn't as fair as I thought it would be as the light did come out, the sun peaked out, uh, for the flight on the Mavic and you'll see a difference in some of the blue skies there. But, um, here on my flight back, I did notice the wind picking up as the sun went away. Uh, we got, we got a little bout of wind and I noticed the battery on the drone went from about 62%. And I think by the time I got back, it was it was mid forties potentially, um, which, which was a, a big drop. Granted, it's a small, small drone fighting some wind here, but that is something that I would have to keep in mind for sure. As I continue to use it along the water here, the reason I bought this was, is I am going on an international trip and this is going to fit perfectly in a small bag where I can take it on my hikes and, um, to different spots. So, so far it is getting through, uh, despite how light it is, I, you know, I thought for a second I'd be rushing to the, the shoreline, but um, it's moseying its way back to the back to the shore. And I did actually stop recording there for a little little bit just in case to save on battery. But as I came back, uh, there there you see the gimbal actually start to to get hit by the wind. I wanted to capture some of the blue water here as we came in. And here I'd probably say I'm at 50% battery life. And by the time I landed, it was probably um, 46. Also cold weather up here in Maine right now still, I believe it was 40 degrees at most. So cold weather, wind, that's going to really, really kill your battery life. But we made it. We got back, back to Fort Foster. And uh, it really is one of the best ways uh, or places, I should say, to, to test out one of these new drones. So all right, I'm going to land it and we'll send out the Mavic. Let's start with the Mavic 3 spec list really quick to compare. Obviously, it's a really powerful drone when compared to the Mini 2 SE, but um, I think this video could be helpful for someone like me who wasn't sure if I even needed something like the Mini 2 SE with a Mavic 3, uh, if it could even be you know, worth putting in the air. Um, so far it is, and I'm glad I bought it. And I hope this video is also for people who may be torn between starting with something cost-effective versus um, something like the Mavic if they are looking to push into the professional uh, sphere. If you are looking to be professional, I, I mean, the Mavic 3 cannot be replaced. It, it really is such a sharp drone. It's so powerful. The, the flight here is just so much more effortless. It cuts through the wind. I ended up taking way more pictures without even realizing it and um, getting flying back to the home base was, oh, there you go. See a pigeon fly right by. Uh, getting back to the home base was was a breeze. I wasn't even thinking about the battery life. I think I still had like 80%. Um, so I was able to whip pretty close uh, past the light. And as you can see, it stays real sharp as you get close in. I did circle back and grab some comparison shots that um, are almost the identical composition of the Mini 2 SE's photo of that, that original lighthouse, and I'll um, be sharing that towards the end of the video here. Um, but for some reason, I was just so excited, I just booked it right to this next light. As you can see, the, the clouds are moving along, so um, there's a little bit more of a blue sky here, um, and even a touch of sunlight on some level.
I did notice, um, obviously, the, rec- uh, the the resolution on the live stream when when flying is is going to be clearer on the Mavic Two because of of the the system it's on. It's on the O3 wireless system, remote system. So it, um, sorry, not wireless. It's on the O3 uh, Mavic DJI system. So here I am. I'm going to grab a quick photo there. As you can see, this this shot is definitely. I was able to do an actually a five bracket um, exposure on that and com- uh, did a nice HDR. You can do a three um, exposure bracketing on the the Mini Two SE actually, which is great. So here is uh, me comparing the zoom capabilities of the Mavic Three. Um, I've always wanted to do this and. This is probably one of the best places to do it. Uh, so you see I'm doing a wide shot here now, uh, and I'll switch over. I'll start to wave right there in the center of the screen. Um, and this is the seven time zoom, and that all the way there is, a, uh, I believe, 28 or 48 times zoom for the Mavic 3. So pretty, pretty crazy. So I'm still hanging out in the seven time zoom. Um, and, and look at these shots you can get with... Uh, the Mavic. I mean, this is that is so sharp, and considering it's somewhat of an overcast day, uh, I was really happy with with um, the clarity. I've noticed at sunset, this zoom um, really does get degraded. You start to see the ISO get pushed, and um, it, the noise increase over over the video. But uh, on a day like today, it it really really stayed sharp. Really happy with this clip. If there were next day when there are seals on this those rocks, that's going to be an awesome shot to have um, in my archive of coastal images here. I mean, look at how nice and close we can get uh, while maintaining a good distance too. So if you are capturing any wildlife um, or sporting events, anything, we, obviously keeping a safe distance is important and um, really able to capture the texture of the lighthouse and the details excuse my golden retriever in the background. So here's me lining up for the same composition uh, for photo. As you can see, there is more detail, there is more vivid color, um, a little bit more of a high dynamic range in the Mavic 2's image, excuse me, Mavic 3's image than the, the Mini 2, but that's to be expected. Um, and because I was not worried about the wind or the time or the battery, I was grabbing a few extra shots here. I did put it in sport mode at one point and um, the Mavic was doing um, 15 meters a second. So I believe it's 45 miles an hour or something like that. I also had a quick uh, minute to scoot up the, the, the way here and the Fort Foster to grab the marsh. thought it was really moody comparatively to the, the kind of the bluer sky. It just looked like it was stuck in winter and the the beach was starting to transition transition into spring there. I thought it was kind of a cool clip. So hope you guys enjoyed this comparison. I'll definitely be adding more in the comments and I'll be doing more comparative direct flights probably on a sunnier day. This was fun, but I'm going to definitely have to see what else this Mini 2 SE can do.